Hey everybody, Carrie here, back with another episode of Disney Dreamlight Valley on the Nintendo Switch. Um, let's see. Let's see what to do. So, last time we fully leveled up Olaf to level 10, and we unlocked Mirabelle. So, this episode we're going to be starting Mirabelle's quests, and going from there. So, let's do that. And also, off camera, I actually uh, did this to my house. Look at my house right now, you guys. Look at it. Just look at this beautiful house that I have. Look at the pink door. Are you kidding me here? A pink door. Anyways, yeah, I did figure out how to do that off camera. It was um part of the new update. You could now have different skins for your houses. And also part of the new update, you can move these doors wherever you want and change the look of them. Really simple like. And also I could move the windows as well. I didn't choose to do that yet, but you know, these windows you have, you could move them just to any place of the wall. It's really cool. Um anyways, yeah, I just changed this door just to see what it was about. But um yeah. Just a, a couple things I did off camera. Anyways, let's go ahead and start Mirabelle's quests. So, uh, last episode we unlocked Mirabelle. Um, hold the phone. Does his store have a different look to it? Yeah, right? And Chez Remy, has it always looked like that too? I don't know. I'm just noticing things. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know. Um, yeah, I I think I think they gave the store a new design. I just noticed that right now. I don't know. Um, anyways, we got Mini Casita over here, and now we have the first quest locked. So I just need to get Mirabel to level two. So let's go ahead and do that. And also, real quick, um, under duties, I had finished this when I was checking out the house exteriors and stuff, the house skins, so let's go ahead and claim that. I hang out with Mickey. Okay, start daily discussions I could finish today. Harvest carrots, I don't know when I'll get to that. Uh, I do not want to do that. Okay. Uh, Goofy's favorite gifts, I need to look up for that. Pick raspberries is easy, sell topazes, okay. It is easy. Uh, give Goofy his favorite gifts. I should start with now, though. That seems like what I should do. So let's do that. Let's first locate Goofy. Well, actually, first let's locate Mirabelle. Alright, so I see Olaf walking around. Ursula is currently asleep. She sleeps so early. I have no idea why. Okay, Mirabelle is in the store. Look at her little icon in the store. Watch, there's Anna, and then there's Scrooge, and then there is Mirabelle. <laughs> and then here's Olaf. I love their icons. Uh, anyways, Mini Casita is right here. So that's where we ended off last time. Oh, and here's Goofy. Okay, so let's see what your favorite items of the day are. Um, oregano and herring. Done. I could totally do that. And I'm not gonna cook you any meals. I mean, sake sushi? Nah. <laughs> Alright, what's on your mind? Have I got something to tell you? I caught a real funny fish the other day. Never seen anything like it before. It was all big and puffed up. Sounds cool. Well, I showed it to Merlin, and he said it's called a fugu fish. I guess it only swims up near the surface on Dazzle Beach when it's raining. I tossed it back, but maybe you could try fishing for it next time it rains. Okay, which is right now. Okay. Well, that's a little fish fact for you guys. Apparently, you could only catch that fish when it's raining and only at the beach. I legit did not even know that. I've caught one before, but I had no idea that's how you catch it. <laughs> Had no idea. Alright. 
Um, yeah, I want to take one of these. Oh, and another thing I found out off camera, you guys, is that if you go to the crafting menu, under functional items, you could actually check out these new chests that I did hear were part of the new update. Um, a medium chest is hardwood, iron, and dreamlight. And then you have a large chest, which is dark wood, gold, and dreamlight. So these are small chests right now. So if you were to get a medium chest, I'm pretty sure it'll be f a total of four rows. Like these just have two rows that you could fill. But a medium chest, I'm sure, is four rows. And a large will fill up the whole chest, which is something people have been requesting for a long time. And um, also, I crafted one of these signposts that you could just put next to your chest, and it tells you exactly what's inside of it. It's kind of cute. Like, literally, you could interact with this and pick a symbol. You could just pick a symbol. Any of these symbols. Any of these symbols. And, um, that's how you label your chest in this game. <laughs> so that was really cool. Did that off camera. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I need to find Goofy again. Let's see. Goofy, 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 where is the Goofy? Okay, where is Goofy? Um, oh god, Goofy's at the beach? Okay. Apparently Goofy's at the beach. Makes sense, though. He, he loves to fish. He's hanging out by the spaceship. Okay. Howdy, pal. Um, I have something to give you. Here you go. Oregano. One of your favorite items. Okay, and then... Herring. Another favorite item. And then that quest should be done. Alright. Yeah, that's totally done. Okay, before I claim that, let's go find Mirabelle. Let's go um, level her up and so I could hang out with her. And we are going to get these quests done. Ooh, is that new? Look at this, look at this cute outfit. That looks like a really adorable outfit this one too they look super cute I know there has been new clothing and furniture items in this game for this new update so yeah those are cool <laughs> I'm just like yeah I think I'm currently wearing a new outfit in the game cause I'm, I mean I've never seen it before so it might be new but this one looks really cute 40,000 bucks or, you know, uh, 40,000 coins for it. That one's only 3,000. That seems unfair. Oh, look at that. Look at that rose on that pillow. Is that rose a pillow? Hi. I don't know. Alright. What are you up to today? Here, I was thinking about adding some new embroidery to my skirt. What do you think I should add? Another butterfly. Good call. You can never have enough butterflies. Very, very true. Hola. Um, I have something to give you. Here, take this diamond. Just because I can't hang out with her yet until she gets to level 2. So I'm just like, here, take this diamond. Get you to level 2. I think I got her glasses as a prize? Looks like I got her glasses. Alright. Let's see. Mirabelle. I had actually just watched Encanto today. <laughs> before recording this episode. So. Mirabelle seems like everything but fishing. Honestly. In the movie she literally does everything but fishing. Right? Like. 
I wouldn't say it's exactly mining, but like she did, you know, help rebuild her house with the whole town. And she used a shovel and a pickaxe to help rebuild the house. And she did some gardening too for the flowers and stuff. Um I don't know, what should Mirabel do? She seems like she does it all. <laughs> um here you go. You could be a let's see, find more crops when harvesting. This one is find more items when harvesting. Wild crops and fruits. Yeah, you know what? Be the gardener. I'm just like, you know what? I don't need I don't even know. Alright. Okay, now we could hang out. Oh no, first I have her quest. I completely forgot about that. Alright. Hey Kara, do you have time to help me with mini casita? What seems to be the issue? Nothing major, but there's some damage to the time we spent wherever it was it took, it took me to protect me. Shouldn't a magical house be able to repair itself? Well, sometimes magic needs a little love and elbow grease to work. Let's go to Mini Casita and I'll show you what has to be fixed. Sure. Healing house. Okay. Um Okay, I guess I can't hang out with her yet. I guess we're she's just gonna follow me for this quest. Let's go. I have to go inside Mini Casita. All right. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and claim this now. Give Goofy his favorite gifts. Done. Collect one. Uh, no. Collect ten thousand star coins. I could totally do that. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Here we are. Here we go. Mini Casita. What seems to be the problem? I've never entered this house before, so let's see what's inside. How does it look? It's so tiny. <laughs> it's so big on the outside. But this time it's so tiny. Okay. Hola. Cool. See, the floor and the walls are pretty messed up. What did it look like before? The floor was painted and the walls were bright and colorful. Now they're just kind of blah. I want to fix them, then repaint them in greens and yellows. Where do you think we should start? Let's start with the basics. We'll need some materials such as softwood and stone to replace the damaged ones. As for the pigments, I'm thinking dandelions, yellow daisies, and green rising pentamons. I can get all that for you. That'd be amazing, thank you. I'll start thinking about the new patterns I'm gonna paint and getting ready uh getting things ready in here. Okay. Um fifteen softwood. I need two daisies, three dandelions, and three green rising pets. One, cool. Wow, this place is so small, man. I literally just watched Encanto today, and the house is so big. <laughs> but maybe this is just supposed to be her room. I guess. I guess that makes sense. In the movie, they just literally put her room. It's it's a bit weird though. They add the whole house in the game, but they only add her room for the game. So I don't know. It's a bit weird. Anyways, um, let's go. So I need two yellow daisies on me, three dandelions, and three green rising pentamon. I have the stone. I need the softwood. Okay. So. Daisies and dandelions and green rising pet small should be in here. Yeah. I need two of these, right? 
and then three of these, and then three of these. There you go. And then I need softwood. I don't actually think I have much softwood in my house, which is odd, but I don't know. I just don't recall ever collecting so much for my house. So we'll just um, collect as we walk. There's plenty of softwood everywhere. That makes 11, 12, 13. And this is 15. Got it. Bring the materials to Mirabelle in her house. Okay. Okay, I don't know why there's a red dot by this event. Why is there a red dot? I got no idea. It's just there. That's supposed to mean something is new, right? But... I don't know. There's nothing new. <laughs> hey, Ed. Nice to see you again. Look at this house, man. Can we just can we just stop and admire this house real quick? This house looks so good. Could I enter this door? No, I can't. And like when you approach it. You could see the windows moving like Mary Casita does. It's so cool. Alright, I'm going to back up, and then I'm going to come this way. And look at all of the stuff are flapping. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> and, then, and then you enter, and then it's small room. Yep, that's totally how it works. Uh, I got worse, Ed. <laughs> got worse, but... I'm living. Alright, here you go. Hola. You found everything. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And your timing's perfect. I know just how I want it all to look. Let me give you a hand. It'll go faster if we work together. You're the best. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of when the people of our Encanto came together to help my family rebuild Casita. It meant so much to all of us. And it really means a lot to me that you're offering to help. If you're ready, let's do this. I'm ready. Why do you have two beds? It's so much better. Okay. Why do you have two beds? I couldn't have done it without you, which is why I want you to have this. What is that? Oh, these towels are just like the ones you use for your floor. Yep, you can use them in your house if you want to. I'm so glad we got to fix up Mini Casita. Caring for your house is an important part of turning it into a home, don't you think? Absolutely. I should put even more love into my house. I bet you'll be really happy if you do. And just so you know, I'd love to help. I could add a couple of things to my place. Scrooge McDuck might have what I need. And if he doesn't, you can always place an order. I've heard it's pretty easy. So, you want me to use this floor? I don't really want to. Wait, that's part of the quest? Purchase furniture from Scrooge's store. What? Okay, that's... That's different. That's different. Wait, a quest actually wants me to buy stuff from Scrooge for myself? Wait, wait, that, that, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, well, I, I mean, I guess. That's that's not supposed to be part of the quest. Alright, it's fine. What is it, Ed? This quest is weird. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so 
I have to purchase stuff from Scrooge. Oh my god, I didn't want to talk to you. Of course, if you could make that forbidding, frosty place a little more warm and inviting, I'll make it a perfect place for building a snowman. I hey, nobody can turn a piece of real estate like you. Oh my god, I did not want to start this quest. Oh my god, I did not want to start that yet. Uh, and I made one. Well, yeah, I made one. I made, uh, one YouTube video today. Um, okay, I'd like to order some items. Well, do I have to order? I don't even have to order. It just says purchase furniture. Okay, well, this chair is nice. Let's purchase it. Or, oh, this is cute. Hold on. Yeah, this is really cute. From Rick and Ralph. It's a nightlight. Okay. Sure. There you go. You just have to purchase one item. And then it says change the wallpaper, change the floor, and add furniture items to your house. Five? Oh my god, what the heck is this game teaching me right now? Like, I know how to do this stuff, but apparently for Mirabelle, her first quest is like teaching you how to put stuff in your house? That's so weird. But I mean, sure. But like, it's so weird. Alright. The other daisies go there. Okay, I think we're cool. Before I started streaming, was I making YouTube videos before that? I'm still a bit unsure about what you mean by that, Ed. Uh, because all of my videos. I make while I'm streaming. Like, I edit this stream to be like a few YouTube videos and then I post them all. And then I post the stream. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's change the floor. Alright, so. She wants me to change the floor. So I might as well use her floor, right? Uh, let's see, this is the wall. So, ooh, chocolate wall. Oh, hold on, I could, I, I have never even seen this before. I could have four different walls in one room. <laughs> I literally did not even know that. All right, it's fine. I, I, I'd never pay attention to my house, so we're good. Um, okay, then this one is a floor. So obviously I need this one, right? These wall, uh, these walls and the floor will definitely go in like a different room of the house in the future, but I don't feel like doing that yet. So okay, and then I need this is cute, and I need some furniture items in here. This is really cute. Um, I don't. I think I need. What is it? Five? Five different furniture items. Where's that lamp that I got? Hold on. Uh, yeah, that was one of five. Where is that lamp that I got? They don't have it under her thing, so could I just put all? Lagoon mirror. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, what else do I want to keep in here? A banner? Sure. I don't know what it's a banner of, but it's a banner. You guys, let me know where this banner is from. What movie? Because it does not ring a bell to me. 
Alright, uh, Mother Gothel's Standing Mirror. Sure. Totally. And then, what is it, one more? Let's try to find that, what's it called? The, um, yeah, this one, the Nightlight. It's really adorable. Really adorable. Let's just put it here for now, I guess. And in the future, I will move all the stuff, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. That's not fair. Excuse me. It actually wants me to place this stuff, you guys. You guys understand this? It says furniture items. I placed furniture items, but it wanted me to actually place what was in her menu thing. There you go. Return to Mirabelle. Could I just take these off now? I don't know. I don't know why I wanted me to do that. Okay. Like, I placed furniture items, but it didn't count. Sometimes this game. This game does not make sense. Alright, return to Mirabelle. My house looks really ugly right now. <laughs> looks really ugly. It looks really bad. Alright. Um, where are you, Mirabelle? You are at the store. Cool. I keep pressing plus thinking I'll run faster. I mean not plus. I keep pressing the the left stick thinking I'll run faster. Because what is it in in Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I've been playing a lot lately. <laughs> you press the stick and then you'll run faster. So I I'm between games right now. Okay. Can't help you with anything. Just inviting you to see what I've done with my place. Really? I can't wait to see it. Let's go. Okay, well... I I took off the... Okay, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I'm just like, well, I took off the, the stuff. But I mean... I guess we'll, we're gonna do this. I guess. Let's go, Mirabelle. Is she following me? Okay, she's she's taking her time. It says follow Mirabelle to my house, apparently, and then go inside the house. Go inside my casita with Mirabelle. All right, and then talk to Mirabelle. Amazing! This house shows that you don't always need actual magic to make magic happen. Both the houses are looking so much better. I'd say that's pretty impressive. And now that mini casita is fixed, I really want to make myself useful by helping you help the other villagers. Because that's what La Familia Madrigal is all about. Helping the community. I'll be your eyes and ears around here and let you know if anyone needs help. See you soon. And thanks again for your help with mini casita. Okay. I still don't know why I had to decorate my house. <laughs> I don't know why that was part of the quest. Okay. Uh, progress further with Remy and Mirabelle level 4. Cool. Let's go. Hi. Let's hang out. Hang out? Sure, let's go. Okay, uh, let's hang out, and I guess I'm just gonna do my mining thing, right? Or I guess, while I hang out, I could do this event stuff, so let's go start some daily discussions.
uh, plant some carrots. Uh, pick up raspberries. Totally. I could do that right now. Three. Six. Nine. Twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen. Okay, so that was only 18. I need a total of 30. So, I'll wait for the raspberries to respawn. Alright, she's almost at level 3. So, let's get her there. Gardening level 3. Right, that one gave me an onyx. Really cool. Whenever I say wood, I'm going to be picking it up on the way because for those uh, different size chests, I want to make sure I do collect more wood. To make some medium chests, large chests, mainly large chests, so I'll be needing to look for some dark wood. And that is going to take a while. But we're going to do it because it'd be nice if I could have some bigger chests instead of using like four different chests just for one thing, which is food. Instead of using four different ones, why not just have one, <laughs> right? Ooh, a topaz. I need the topazes to sell. Okay, uh, as for you, you could get close to level 4 with this. Here you go. Gracias. Okay, um, I also have a peridot. There you go. And then a Garnet. Level 4. Let's start her next quest. A present for me? Yes, it is. Okay. I got 500 gold. Karen, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think... Well, I think the forgetting took a memory from me. An important one. And I could use some help getting it back. Oh no, what was it? It's a recipe. You see, I was thinking that since we're back in the village and more and more people are coming back to the valley, that calls for a celebration. And I have the perfect food for it. But, 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 but okay. <laughs> Except I can't remember the recipe to give it to Remy. Uh, to give to Remy. I can barely even remember what they taste like. No matter how hard I concentrate, there's nothing but emptiness in my head where it was supposed to be. Like it's been erased or taken somehow. And it's my mama's recipe. Losing it is like losing a part of me. I'm sure we can find it together. I'm so glad you help, and I've got an idea where to start. Somehow, the magic of mini casita kept a fresh plate of them in the cupboard all the time. Maybe we could do a taste test, see if we could figure out what ingredients go into them. Though I'm not nearly as good a cook as Mama, she's a true artist, not to mention her meals can heal you, literally. Give me the play, I'll ask Remy, he's the real food expert around here. Great idea, here you go. Okay. I got a plate of food. A plate of bu bunuelos. Bu bunuelos. Bu okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, so... Yeah. Bring it to Emmy. Okay. I can do that. Uh, 
I don't know Spanish names for food. Think I know Spanish names for food? I don't. Alright, where the heck is Remy? Is Remy not running his restaurant right now? What the heck? Okay, that's weird. Apparently Remy isn't even at his restaurant. Apparently. Okay, he's probably at his house then? Yes. Why is he not even running his restaurant? You know, people could steal things, Remy. <laughs> people could totally just steal things from behind the oven. Alright, let's talk. Here you go. What's this? A plate? Okay, yep. Thanks, these look incredible. Did you make them? Nope, Mirabelle gave them to me. Mirabelle's back? That's fantastic. She really understands the power of a good meal to bring people together. Though it took me a while to get that when she said her mom's cooking could heal people. She meant actually heal people. Mirabelle used to help me throw these amazing parties. She always had gifts crafted for all the guests. I hope we could do that again. That's the thing. The forgetting took Mirabel's memory of the Bunuelos recipe. We need you to taste one and see if you can figure out the ingredients. Thank you up for the challenge. A culinary challenge, of course. Okay, let me taste them. Hmm, a little stale, but still good. As for the ingredients, fritters almost always use the same base. Wheat for the flour, milk, and eggs. Anything else? Oh, there's definitely a fourth ingredient, but I'm going to challenge you to find it. You're a gifted sous chef, but you've got to chain your palate to stay sharp. I'll give you a clue. It's something salty, but it's not meat or fish or a vegetable. And it's closely related to another, base, uh, another basic ingredient in the recipe. I'm sure you can find it on the shelves of my restaurant. So I need wheat, milk, eggs, and a mystery fourth ingredient. Okay. A fourth ingredient. Something salty and it's on the shelves in his restaurant. So, I think I know what that could be. Okay. So. Milk, wheat, eggs. You could find milk and eggs in his... Restaurant, so that doesn't leave many options, right? That does not leave many guesses for this fourth ingredient. So I think it's butter. Right? It can't be cheese, right? Or you know what? Maybe it's peanut. I don't even know. I mean, butter is salty, right? Let's see, do I have milk? No, I don't. Okay, let's get one milk. Eggs. Okay, I'm going to try butter. And if it's not butter, then it's got to be peanuts. Because, I mean, I've never known cheese to be salty. Have you guys ever heard of cheese is salty? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Do I have wheat? Yes, I do. I have a lot of wheat. Wheat, butter, um, and then milk and eggs. It was just four, right? Porridge. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it at all. Okay, so, uh, peanuts? You could totally buy salted butter at the store. <laughs> you could totally buy salted butter at the store. So, uh, it's not my fault I got that wrong, right? Um, hold on, I need more milk and eggs. Okay, 
So, we got this this time. Hopefully. Let's see, we have wheat. Peanuts, because I think peanuts could also be salty. Maybe just a little bit salty. What the heck? That's not it, right? Hold on, am I getting something wrong here? Milk, wheat, eggs. Okay. You guys don't think it could be cheese, right? Thanks, Ed. <laughs> you guys don't think it could be cheese, right? And it's totally not ice cream. It better not be the slush ice. Or I'm gonna lose it. Better not be the slush ice. Anyways, at least all of these failures are um, helpful for completing the little quest for the star path. So, I mean, at least it's, it's helping with that. There it is. Bunuelos. Bun Bunuelos. That's how I'm pronouncing it, and if it's pronounced differently, then oh well. Bring the freshly cooked Bunuelos to Mirabelle. Okay. There you go. Look at her dance. She's so cute. These look so good, almost as good as the ones my mama makes. But there's only one way to know for sure. We've got to taste them. Delicioso. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had almost the whole plate. You must have found the recipe. And after tasting them, my memory of them is coming back. It was pretty simple in the end. Just wheat, milk, eggs, and cheese. Thank you so much. I never could have figured it out without you. Remy helped me, to be fair. Okay, but you made them yourself. You know what we should do? Make more banuelos and give them to the villagers. Like Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy. Uh, like Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy. They stayed behind during the forgetting. I'll bet they could really use some good, comforting, homemade banuelos. I'll bring them each a plate. Oh god, okay. So, I need Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy. Okay, so I need three of these. Dang it, I accidentally bought four. That's fine. I need three of these. Maybe I should accidentally buy four. There you go. And I need three of these. Or four. There you go. <laughs> I literally got four on purpose. Okay. So, now, Bunuelos. We got wheat. Cheese, eggs, and milk. Okay, hold on. Let me just find it. Could I find it? Yeah, it's gonna be at the top here. Let's go. Really fast. Lightning speed. Alright, that should be good. Now, bring them to the villagers. Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. Okay, they're not in here. Good to know. I might need to get me some more lemonade. I'm thirsty. Uh, we're gonna do Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. There you go. Have this. Bunuelos. Gosh, I love these. I sure am glad Mirabelle's back and all the delicious food Remy used to help her make, too. I used to catch fish for the two of them, and then they'd organize big dinner parties for the whole village. Gee, I hope they have another party real soon. Thanks. Okay, here we go. I did see Mickey over here. Or was it Minnie? Okay. I get them both mixed up, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see this Elsa, Mother Gothel. There you are. Hey, 
Oh boy, I've played a Bunuelos. Thanks. The Vermeer Bowl and me to thank you for staying in the valley no matter what. Gosh, that sure was nice of you. Say, maybe I should bake a pie to welcome Mirabel back. Before the forgetting, Minnie and I used to go on lots of hikes and picnics in the peaceful meadow with Mirabel, and we talked for hours. It was a blast. Well, thanks again for the Bunuelos. Okay. And then we need Scrooge. Do you guys hear that? Someone is banging on the door. That is my little brother. Come in. Come in. Bless me bagpipes, bunuelos. I haven't seen a plate of these since before the forgetting. They're from that fine young lass Maribel, aren't they? Always caring. Always so caring and kind, that one. A fine addition to the village. Mirabel wanted to thank you for staying. Well, it's much appreciated. Both her message and your delivery. Thanks to the both of you. Alright. Now, return to Mirabel. And that's quest done. Mickey, Goofy, and Mr. McDuck all came to tell me that they love the Bunuelos. Thank you so much for helping me find the recipe again and for making them so well. I love knowing that they're part of Chez Remy's menu now, so I can share them with everyone. You know, you're really making the valley feel like home. I can't wait to see what our next adventure is. Okay. That's great. That was her second quest. Probably out of five, I'm guessing. Let's see. Or probably out of four. So, unlock Donald, unlock Dazzle Beach, and Mirable level seven. So, let's get her there. Make sure that she's still hanging out with me. Yes, she is. Okay. Let's get some more daily discussions done since I'm here. What are you up to today? I've been reminiscing about my time in the Yukon, the, the Yukon near Moosnik Glacier. The valleys between those mountains, they were so, so full of potential for profit. <laughs> Hi, there were plenty of ways to turn a profit. But I appreciated them for more than just that. No fancy meal has tasted half as fine as the beans I cooked on my own campfire under the Klondike stars. Before snack, stack, bleh, before stock options and crop futures and compound interest, my tools were my gold pan, my pick, and my shovel. With those, I worked the icy creeks and frozen tundra and earned every cent with my own two hands. Sounds amazing. I that it was. Sometimes I think more than gold or assets or banks or properties around the world. I'm richest, richest in memories. Okay, so that wasn't it. One more? Do you need to talk? Yeah, you've been working so hard. I wanted to check in with you. Have you eaten lately? Stretch? Had plenty of fluids? Uh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Now you should go get something to drink right now. It's easy to get dehydrated. It's even happened to Elsa. You would think that since she has ice powers, it wouldn't, but it doesn't work that way. I have to remind her to drink water a lot. Alright, there you go. So I wanted to finish that daily discussions one before we continue. Alright, complete dreamlight duties. That's something. Uh, That's two. That's two of them down. So let's go ahead and continue with that. Alright, so, one of the daily, or one of the Dreamlight duties is to mine rocks and to sell gems. So, I mean, I could do those, like, at the same time, so, let's do that. And, I could also be leveling up Mirabelle, so, it's a win-win. It's a win-win-win. And also, I believe one of them is to sell seven topazes, right? Seven or eight. So, I could do three of them at the same time. Really, really cool. 
All right. Ooh, a memory. Or not. It's just money. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I need to go ahead and eat something. So I have this hot cocoa. Let's eat it. Because you're totally supposed to eat hot cocoa. Totally. Okay. Nice. Another topaz. Ooh, my raspberries are back. I could keep picking them for this quest. Okay. There you go. Pick up raspberries. Done. Alright. Let's see what the next event thing is. Start a discussion with Mickey. Wait. Any discussion? It just says start a discussion. But it doesn't necessarily mean daily discussions, right? Because that's different. So just any discussion? Let's test that. I've I've actually never seen that kind of quest before. Usually it says daily discussions, but this one just says start a discussion. So... What exactly does that mean? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's look for Mickey Mouse, and let's see if I can just start a discussion with him. So if I talk to you here, am I glad to see you? And then I say bye. <laughs> does that count? That does not count. Okay, so if I talk to you here, and then I say, I have something to give you, and then here, you can have this piece of wood. <laughs> Does that count? Oh boy, that's nice. See, technically, that was a discussion, right? Okay, no, it doesn't count. So therefore, the game is tricking you in saying to start a discussion, when it really means start daily discussions. I really like what you're doing to spruce up the valley. Oh, thanks, Mickey. Hey, I just remembered. I wanted to pass on a little something I learned. Make sure you leave room so you can make a garden big enough to grow lots of different kinds of crops. You never know what you might need around here. Alright, so that discussion uh, was correct. Um, so yeah, the game lied to you. Like, a discussion. I mean, I guess it makes sense that, you know, a daily discussion means starting a discussion. But, if you think about it, a discussion means talking to someone. And I clearly talk to him, right? To give him a gift. But, no, it has to be daily discussion. Alright, it's fine. So, I have to talk to Mickey again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then that will be done. Alright, so, we have a Peridot. Um, these rocks are still gone. That's fine. Um, okay, I could give Mirabelle some gems. I have something to give you. Here you go, a uh, shiny garnet. Why not? She's almost a level 5. Uh, here you go, another onyx. One more. One more, and then she'll be at level five. Halfway there. We are halfway there. Alright. Here you go. Shiny topaz. I don't think that counts as selling topazes, so I don't really need a shiny topaz. Oh, hey, the rocks just spawned like right in front of my face.
Alright. Ceremony day gift? What does that mean? What is a ceremony day gift? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I got for leveling her up. Alright. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. And let us sell these topazes. I have six. Uh, yeah, let's just do those. Because then, that counts as a dreamlight duty. Selling minerals. Have a daily discussion. Pick mushrooms. Okay. Oh my god, Ariel is stuck in the books again. <laughs> you guys remember that, right? That's Ariel's thing. That's so Ariel's thing in my game. You, you guys remember that, right? If you've been with me for a while while I've played this, you guys have seen that before. I'm just like, hey, why does she keep getting stuck inside these books? And that's just her thing. That's just what she does now. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. That's just Ariel. That's just Ariel being Ariel, apparently. Alright, pick mushrooms. There's one. Here is two. Okay. And then here is three. There you go. And then start a daily discussion. Okay, I'm just trying to just trying to walk myself through what I have to do. Let's see. Uh harvest the fruit. Take a picture. Change your outfit. Okay. Um, I need three more duties. Three more. Okay. Um, harvest the fruit I could do, I guess. Let's go to the Sunlit Plateau. And we could get that done. And the next person I come across, I'll have a daily discussion with him. The next, the next uh, animal, or the next person. Who is it? Who is it going to be? Who wants to talk to Kiara? Who wants to talk to me that I have not already talked to yet today? Let's see. Um, I think I did talk to Mirabel, right? I think I already talked to him. To her. Sorry, I called you a him. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hi! <laughs> you disappeared out of nowhere. You know a lot about magic. I've learned a lot about my powers in the last year, and about the spirits of nature. Would you like me to tell you about any of them? Um, water, because that's the best. The water spirit is also called the water knock. It takes the form of a horse and has the power of the ocean. The knock guards the enchanted forest fiercely and won't respect you unless you prove yourself worthy. Okay. I'm totally worthy. Uh, let's see. Feed a critter. Alright. Critter. Critter. Whatever your name is. Come to me, critter. Let me know if you guys see a critter. I'm just looking for a random one. Hey, critter. Is no one hungry or something? Usually they're running up to me. Maybe if I just stand still, one will disappear. Got no idea. Okay. Um, usually I find critters really easily in the Sunlit Plateau. Hey, rabbit. Where are you going, rabbit? 
I can't talk to this rabbit. Maybe his thing is I have to chase him around a bit, and then I could talk to him? Oh my god, where'd you go? Oh my god, he just disappeared. <laughs> where the heck did he go? I don't know where he went. Uh, let's go back to the summit plateau. Because usually that's where I find critters really easily. Uh, here, I'm going to take this. And then... Let's go feed a critter. Usually you could easily find some sunbirds flying around in here. Real easy, like. Okay, and I also found some chests. I was not expecting to find, so that's cool. Uh, where are the critters? There's one. That's who I wanted to see. Okay. Uh, I have for you... I have these flowers. Eat them up. To your heart's content. There you go. He loves them. Thank you. He gave me a bag. Um, I don't recall ever seeing a yellow bag before. Oh, motive bag. I rarely get those. I I think I rarely get those. So, cool. Okay, I fed a critter. That counted, right? Yes. Okay, and now... No internet. That's weird. <laughs> Why did my internet suddenly shut down in this game? That That's so weird. Okay. It's fine, though. We came back online. Okay, uh, catch cod. So one topaz, cook meals. Yep, just keep these in mind. Okay, but let's focus more on leveling up um, Mirabelle. Focus more on that. For now. The star path could come later. Okay. Oh, there's a memory. Nice. Nope, it is just coins. That's fine. Okay, I have something to give you. Here's a citrine. That gave you a lot of, lot of experience. Oh, it was your favorite item. That makes sense. <laughs> I had no idea. It was actually her favorite item of the day. Yeah. Alright, here's an emerald. For me? Yes, for you. Here's a tourmaline. And then... Peridot. And Onyx. Yes, that's the last one I have on me. Okay. Let's get back to mining. Let's go. Need to pick up all this wood. Okay, another tourmaline. Good. And an onyx. Great. Nice. Level six. Gardening up. So if I were to take Mirabelle and go uh, harvest all that cotton that's back there. I would get a lot of cotton. Like, a lot of cotton. Uh, what is that from? Mickey Mouse? Okay. I mean, I guess that could have been Minnie Mouse on the picture, but it did not really look like her. Because it was an old cartoon. 
It was old. All right, let's go up here. I seriously long for the day I could get rid of all these fires. Like, that's got to be sometime, like, in the next update, right? The next update, or, like, the next next one, has got to have, um, has got to have the quest of getting rid of those, right? Like, ever since I first unlocked this, I'm just like, why can't I get rid of these fires? What's happening? And I've been waiting for the time I could get rid of them. They are just in my way. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a camp fire over here or a campsite. And also this is the last pillar, I believe. That should be the last pillar, right? It should be. I think the last pillar that needs to be restored. So that's definitely gotta come sometime soon, right? Where? Wanna come over here? Over here? No, dude. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. Um, so I got one of these pieces of this memory. So, yay. <laughs> I was like, so yay. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Trying to level up Mirabelle. Let's teleport real quick to the center over here and keep mining. Keep on keeping on. All right. Excuse me. Come on, give me one topaz so I could sell it. Just give me one topaz. That's re that's really what I'm hoping for right now. So I could keep doing the star path. Come on. Give me a topaz. Where are the topazes? I don't know. There's a shiny, uh, shiny peridot. Let's eat all of those. Alright, I have a lot of different gems I could give Mirabelle. I should probably do that sometime soon, because my inventory is getting full. Alright, let's see. A diamond. There you go. That's a great gift. I know, right? A diamond is a girl's best friend. Tourmaline, she's 50% there. 50%. Fifty. 
55%. Just going to count it up now. Um, 66%? Just kidding, that's like 60%. Okay, shiny amethyst. That's like 67%. <laughs> I'm just estimating here. Um, okay. Garnet, 70%. S 80%? Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Let's keep going. Oh my god. Perfect. It's just what I needed. That is just what I wanted. Okay, it disappeared. That's totally fine. Totally okay with that. The Peridot. Cool. Could you imagine if you could move the rocks in your village? Like these mineable rocks? Imagine that's a thing. Imagine they add that. That would be so cool. You could just put them all in one area. Alright, sorry for the little pause. I got it to level 7. We did it.